Creating a quiet mind is very important. Li Chin Yung, who lived to be 252 years, 1677 to 1937, something like that. He, uh, people ask him, what's the secret? Oh, he had 23 wives. I mean, you live a long time, okay? You can. He said, the secret's a quiet mind. So meditating is really important. Now, what's the research show? Well, the research shows people who meditate for at least five years have a physiology that's 15 years younger. <coughs> that's pretty significant, right? So uh, not only is your mind quiet, but your physiology is working a lot better. How much do you need to meditate? Another question. I recommend twice a day, at least 20 minutes twice a day. That's the minimum. We like to see a half hour twice a day, sunrise, sunset, roughly speaking, up to an hour twice a day. And that's going to give you your optimum quieting of the mind effect as well as all the physiological effects. So there really is something to say to that. We also know some research out of Harvard shows that meditating actually increases certain areas of the brain, particularly the memory areas and certain areas in the cortical regions. And it also rebalances well, the amygdala area, which has to do with uh, uh, balancing your emotions. So literally, when we meditate, the memory areas get bigger, the emotional imbalance areas get a little smaller, and our overall brain function increases. Now, that's a pretty good deal. And they've measured this, okay, literally with measuring brain size. Now, with age, the brain tends to shrink about 1% a year. There are certain things that do the opposite. What does it? Certain activities that improve uh, growth hormone, uh, meditating is another one that expands the brain, and being hydrated. And the fourth is blood sugar control. We, we, we know, we're not going to give a whole talk on diabetes this time, I do every time, but not this, that people who have a high blood sugar tend to have significantly increased brain shrinkage. So after a five, in a five-year study, they found people with a higher blood sugar had uh, double the rate of brain shrinkage. So now we want to ask the question, well, what's a higher blood sugar? Well, optimal blood sugar is 70 to 85. Less than 100 is still okay. I mean, it starts to go down after 80, you know, 86, 87. And prediabetes is 100 to 126. And diabetes is a fasting blood sugar is what I'm talking about. It's 126 on up. So we clearly know that diabetics have increased brain deterioration and brain shrinkage. We should probably turn off our cell phones. Okay, so we really want to do everything to keep the blood sugar 70 to 85. And, and over the age of 45, people tend to have uh, more difficulty. About 80% of the population over the age of 45 has a blood sugar higher than 85. So that's a, cons a real consideration. Um, in the process. People uh, age 65 and over, 27% of the population has diabetes, type 2 diabetes by that stage. There are some enzymatic changes. There's an enzyme that gets activated, glucose 6PD, that pulls, uh, makes more sugar in the liver than it should and uh, converts more uh, muscle to, uh, protein to sugar than it should. And that 
actually raises the blood sugar and therefore enhances the diabetes. There are some things that we can do to, to neutralize that. But we're not going to get into all, all that, but what I'm trying to say is we can do something. I watch my blood sugar pretty closely, and I have been doing a lot of traveling, and I, I noticed my fasting blood sugar was 90, 94. And it's like, even for me, because I'm a little fastidious, right? Fastidious, conscientious, right? That's why I'm up here talking about these things. Um, that was not acceptable. So I took a few herbs, and within four days, my fasting blood sugar was 70, which is where, that's a good place. That's a good place to be. So we can give it attention. When we don't, it's a, an issue. So I do recommend people get one of those little glucometers and check your blood sugars because you want to have it less. Obviously, a vegan diet in what I call phase one, which is a very low glycemic, without fruits, without um, uh, you know any kind of sweet anything, that's where you want to go to bring your blood sugar down. That's the key to our healing diabetes naturally. So that's um, it's something that's very, very important. There's no question about it. If you have diabetes, you lose up to nine, uh, 10 to 19 years off your life. More than that, you lose sexual function, you lose brain function, you lose neurological function in that process. So you, you get gradually uh, debilitated. Um, so it's really important to pay attention to that and the overall longevity. And again, you don't meditate as well when that's happening. So those are some keys to keeping your brain from shrinking and keeping a quiet mind, which helps regenerate the whole, the whole uh, system.